Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to the center of our own galaxy where the mysterious black hole known as Sagittarius A star resides. You can kind of see it right there in the middle, it's not really easy to see actually. Now today we're going to be talking about a mystery of this black hole and specifically why is it that it's kind of quiet, it doesn't really do much compared to other black holes. Let's discuss this in more detail and welcome to What The Math. Now when it comes to other black holes in other galaxies, like for example the super famous M87, these are extremely active. So active and so bright as a matter of fact that we can easily see them from here, from Earth, at a distance of over 55 million light years. A lot of these galaxies are known as active galactic nuclei galaxies, also known as AGN. And in a lot of cases something like this happens quite a lot. A star comes really really close to the black hole and then kind of falls into it, creating a lot of energy and a huge burst that can be then seen from a really, really far away distance. At the same time, some galaxies don't really exhibit this behavior. Some uh, black holes in some other galaxies seem to be relatively quiet and are not as bright. As a matter of fact, most of the galaxies around us are just like that, including of course our neighbor Andromeda that's slowly moving closer and closer to us. But then other galaxies near us are active. The most famous one I think is this one, the exceptionally beautiful Centaurus A galaxy, a video about which you can discover above my head. And so this galaxy does have an active galactic nuclei and is producing, as you can see, very powerful jets. But not Sagittarius A star. Not our own black hole that seems to be very calm and very quiet in comparison. As a matter of fact, um, we haven't really seen any powerful jets emanating from it, we've also haven't really discovered anything in terms of um, any kind of super powerful emissions, and for the most part, even though there is stuff here, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of um, actual radiation that's produced and is released and uh, can be detected, it's not comparable to some of those other active galactic nuclei. So um, it's a mystery and we don't really know why it's happening, but one of the uh, scientists and his team from NASA wanted to try to answer this question by using the really really cool telescope known as SOFIA that basically deserves its own video, but it's a telescope inside of this beautiful Boeing 747 uh, airplane that you can see right there that recently had a new device installed on it known as HAWC. Plus. And that stands for the High Resolution Airborne Wideband um, Camera Plus, which can detect magnetic uh, field and magnetic radiation from really far away distances in space. And so the scientist whose paper you can find below, but it as of today has not really been published yet, it's supposed to be published um, in the mid of 2019, they literally looked at this um, area, specifically at an area of roughly around 30 light years across, and they tried to measure uh, the magnetic field or magnetic lines here because they had a speculation that a lot of this quietessence, a lot of this quietness is actually from the magnetic field of our own black hole. And by looking at this area with Sophia telescope, they were able to create this absolutely marvelous image that you see right here. And this is one of the first images ever that clearly shows us the magnetic field lines and various interstellar matter interacting with those field lines around the central black hole. At the same time, this shows us a very large area of um, a radius of about 30 light years. And what's interesting here is that it also shows us what happened in the last 100,000 years of existence of matter around this black hole. And incredibly, this image of course shows us that the matter around the black hole very actively interacts with the magnetic field produced by the black hole and so this could be that solution to that mystery. This could be why the black hole is not really that active and this is exactly what the scientists behind this paper propose. They propose that depending on the location and direction and formation of these magnetic lines, um, they can either send matter directly into the black hole, thus in a sense turning it on or activating it, and creating huge, huge amounts of energy, or alternatively, they could send matter into the accretion disk where it slowly sort of rotates and orbits around the black hole, not really creating as much energy as a result, and thus turning the black hole off. 
In other words, they're suggesting that these magnetic lines work as a kind of a on-off switch for black holes, at least to some extent, or at least to the extent where other forces may not be powerful enough to activate a black hole. Obviously, for example, if a star falls into a black hole, it will probably activate the black hole, or if the galaxy experiences some sort of a galactic collision, it will probably result in um, reformation of the magnetic field lines and also huge amounts of matter falling into the black hole as well. So in those cases, um, maybe the magnetic lines don't play as much of a role. But in a typical galaxy that's stable, that is not going through any kind of catastrophic events, the magnetic field lines might be responsible for activating or deactivating the actual galaxy. And so their explanation for why Sagittarius A star is so quiet relative to other um, galactic black holes is literally because the magnetic field lines are making all of the matter fall into the accretion disk. They're not really letting our black hole consume any of the materials. So the spiral shape that they discovered here kind of channels all of this matter into the area around the black hole where it's pretty safe from being absorbed right away. Now, not all scientists will obviously agree with this, and actually not all scientists already agree with this, but um, follow-up studies and most importantly follow-up observations using this new device on SOFIA will definitely make this a little bit more clear. As of now though, the ability to create such an incredible image of the central region uh, using the magnetic field lines is only possible because our black hole is so close to us. Also at the same time, the ability to even create this suggests that we'll be able to take a look at other objects out there in the universe, such as for example neutron stars or just other black holes, smaller black holes, that could potentially have magnetic lines around them as well. Specifically, I'm more interested to see what all of this will look like around a typical uh, magnetar that normally have extremely powerful magnetic fields. And so honestly, this is one of the cooler discoveries of this month and potentially even this year, and will most likely create new opportunities for new studies that will hopefully discover something even better. And for now, well, it's a good explanation for why our black hole might be quiet, but we need follow-up studies to confirm this once and for all. It's definitely something that I'm really excited to find out more about, and I'll definitely make another video about this in the future. So do subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space and wants to know more about universe, black holes, and neutron stars, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.